In this example, we will demonstrate load flow calculations in the MV distribution network. Study case 01 MV load flow should be active. This icon is used to run a load flow calculation. We'll run a balanced AC calculation observing the active and reactive power limits of equipment. There are different ways of accessing the calculation results. The Network Model Manager can be used to display the results for each network element class. Here, the voltages of bus bars are shown. There are also many inbuilt reports. For example, this report provides a summary of load flow results for each grid. Diagram colouring is a useful way of getting an overview of the state of the network, so let's now colour the diagram according to the load flow results. This colouring setting is used to indicate voltages at terminals and the loading of lines and other edge elements. The colour settings are configurable. We can see that the voltages are quite low in some parts of the network. For better visualization, the colouring can be enhanced using the heat map command. Let's return to the load flow command. On this page, it's possible to scale loads and generation. We'll start by scaling the loads down to 25%. With these low loads, the voltages are all at or above nominal. Now, let's see the impact of scaling loads above 100%. Some of the voltage levels are now very low, and some lines are indicated as being heavily loaded. The situation can, however, be improved by enabling the automatic tapping of transformers. This is done via another setting in the load flow command. The network state is now improved.